Hello, Victor here, RestoreYourMercedes.com Mark, this is video for you. This is your um, finally get to work on your units to finally test them on the car. This is your um, potentiometer. It is connected to my car currently, um, your actuator. So, just wanted to show you that everything works. As um, I don't know if yeah, you cannot really see the linkage move, but let me bring camera closer. Actually, okay. So here we have the. That is my actuator actually in there. This is the one that's 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 with the car. That's what that's installed on my car, as you can see. The it responses to your potentiometer movement. Pretty nicely. I can go slow and it doesn't go into limp mode as it would have went to limp mode and would not activate the actuator anymore. And you can see it moves quite fast. You can start the car actually too with this unit connected. So let me go ahead and start the car. This is work in progress vehicle, it's not finished yet. I have a bunch of oil leak right now because my actuator linkages, the actual holder brackets and whatever you call it, they're not tight at all, but the purpose here is, is to show that It does work well. Idle. Just wait for air pump to shut off. But it works nice. Idle. My idle is not stable, so it's not the potentiometer, it's my uh the motor, engine, wiring and all that, but um, it does react nicely. Once it hits that micro switch contact, it drops to idle. You gotta wait for the car to warm up a little bit so it will stop shaking. But this is idle right now, as you can see, there is no movement of the actuator at this position. This is micro switch is working good. The second I go past this, it activates the actuator. As you can see, nice and slow. The second I hit that micro switch, no movement, no response from the actuator, which is a very tiny little point here. As you can see, no response because idle contact switch is, deep, is is actually open. So when I give a little bit of gas, see here, it actually controls the throttle, whereas at very very end, it does not because there is no uh, there is no connect. You know, the micro switch contacts are open. Now they close, so that means that we have Okay, 
again, my motor is not really tuned at the moment, so don't judge its performance, but... Well, I can gun it, I mean, it... Okay, I gotta stop running this motor because I have some oil leak and I cannot really run it for too long. It's gushing out right now from there because my I'm missing those I'm missing those bolts. I have to organize my ignition wires. But um got the idea. No ASR after all this time we've been messing with it. This is SRS light, but the SR light is off, so potentiometer, I don't see a problem with potentiometer here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep it on, ignition on, so we can still mess around with the linkage, but uh, I mean I don't see a problem here. As a matter of fact, I'll just go like that. And uh, and the uh, the um, potentiometer. So as you can see, mine is all loose in here. So. You can see it moves a little bit here and there because it's not tight <laughs> here and here is actually a little better but so anyway but it does as you can see the car runs fine and this is your potentiometer it does work quite nice I mean I don't I don't see a problem with it going slow as you mentioned before so we'll go really slow now, letting go of the throttle. Linkage does close. You see still moving a little bit. And idle. Quiet from the motor. We'll go slow again. Slowly up. And slowly back. That's really slow. I'm going, and it does not go into limp mode. Idle. This is near idle. Gone. Very easy on. So. It does work well. So I don't see a problem with this unit. Here it is connected to my car as you can see right here. This is my potentiometer. All the insulation is all lost. Whereas on yours is really nice and supple, so which is pretty amazing. Mine is just like that, so um, but yeah, I mean I don't you know I don't I don't see a problem. I can leave it in one position, it doesn't drop jump back to limp mode or anything like it's pretty much fine so I'm going to do another video with your potentiometer and your actuator this is your actuator I'm just going to plug it in I'm going to plug it into my car and I'm not going to bolt it down I'm just gonna leave it on the bench like so um, and then we are just going to test it back and forth because I cleaned it extensively it was quite dirty all right next video is coming up